Hi, my name's Ash and I am a queer witch, an astrologer, and a flower essence creator. And this was part two in my video series about flower essences for beginners. So if you haven't already checked out part one, in part one I talk about what flower essences are, how they're made, um, and the main way that they're usually taken. In this video, I'm gonna be talking more about other ways that you can use flower essence products and some of the flower essence products that I've created. If you get through this video and you want more content, around flower essences or you're interested to hear more about my approach, you can download a free one hour long video workshop using the link below by subscribing through your email and I will send that over to you instantly so you can watch it today. I hope that you enjoy this video. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel already, I hope that you will and I send out a monthly astrology forecast plus I have some other great content about astrology and plants coming out on YouTube and through my podcast. And you can find all of that information in the description below this video. So let's get started. And you would take it by just drops. So for most flower essences, and there's dosages on all of the bottles as well, and there's information about this on my website, um, but you would take like four drops I suggest taking it on the tongue personally. That's my favorite way to take it. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and take some of this right now so you can see. So I'm just gonna take four drops. Drops, not dropper fulls. If you've taken a tincture, you might be used to taking a whole dropper full. And that's why these bottles are so small because you really don't need that much. You could even take less than four drops if you wanted to. You could take one drop, two drops, three drops. It's kind of up to you. And if you're a sensitive person, you'll get a really good sense when you start taking an essence about how much you want to take of it. Another way that you can take a flower essence would be to put it in a glass of water. So I have a glass of water here and I could do the exact same thing. Take this flower essence bottle and I could drop just four drops into my water and drink that glass of water. Not like, oh, I'm gonna down this whole glass of water now. I, I would suggest kind of um, drinking it in a more ceremonial kind of way. So maybe drinking it over the course of like your morning or drinking it, you know, I love to take flower essences when I'm doing any kind of writing work. And um, so in that situation, rather than just taking it immediately, I might take my flower essence in a glass of water and drink it over the course of, you know, a three hour period while I am, writing. And um, there are some flower essences that are really great for creative work or for writing work. Um, but you can also just pick a flower essence if one is kind of calling to you and you want to work with it and you want to sit and meditate with it or write with it and just see what that flower has to say through you. That's also a great way to work with them. So taking them by themselves on your tongue, that's the easiest way. The next way would be to take it in a glass of water. You can apply them onto your body too if you're looking for an external way to use them. Like I said, it's not gonna have any scent. It's not gonna have any kind of oily. It's truly it's just water and alcohol. Um, but a couple of places where people typically would put flower essences would be on the inside of their wrist or also around the heart space is a really great place to apply a flower essence topically to your body. Um, I personally like to take them internally. I take flower essences every single day in water or just on my tongue. Um, and that's my favorite way to take them. I mentioned earlier that I also do have another external preparation option. And that is a spritzer bottle, which I'm gonna grab right now. Okay, so this is one of the products that I have listed in my online apothecary, which you can go find at ashgravity.com. And this is one of my products that I use myself personally every day, and it is the Speak With Confidence Flower Essence Spray. 
So this does have essential oils in it. And I made an essential oil blend to go with my flower essence blend so that I can use it by spraying it in my area, in my vicinity. And then I get the dual benefit of all of the qualities of those flower essences being in my environment and helping me to make subtle shifts in my environment, plus the trigger of the scent and just the habit of using those scents on a regular basis. And then that triggers like, okay, for example, with Speak With Confidence, I'm using this when I'm sitting down to write. And I always use this. I use this <laughs> blend. This is my personal, not so beautiful <laughs> version of this um, spray mister that I use in my house. Uh, and this actually, it also has aquamarine crystal chips in it because I am kind of fancy. But this is something that when I'm getting ready to sit down and write, I would just spray this in my vicinity, like around my desk. And then that smell gives me that feeling of, okay, now it's time to sit down and write. Plus I get all of the benefits of the flower essences also being in my environment. And you're basically, you're just like inviting in the energy and personality of all of those flowers to be with you and to support you through what you're doing or through what you're going through. Um, so I talked about my single flower essences, I talked about my spritzers, and then I also have four flower essence blends um, that you can take internally, same as you would a single flower essence. And so these are formulas that I created for different life events or different kinds of circumstances. I'm really excited about these blends specifically, so I'm going to talk a little bit about them. Um, and like I said, if you have any questions, you want to know more, feel free to drop a comment. Um, but the four different blends that I have available through my website are the Speak With Confidence Flower Essence Blend that I just talked about. So this is one, you can buy it in the spritzer bottle, or you can buy it in the internal um, option. And this is a blend of flower essences that really supports communication and really helps us to feel open to receiving communication that is bigger than us and is like more, you know how like sometimes you get into this headspace when you're writing or you're trying to speak about something and you're like, who am I to say this? I made this blend specifically to say, it's not just me. This is, I'm communicating from more than just me. And um, that's that was the whole reason that I made this. It was for my own personal use that I wanted to have a way to feel more confident in what I was communicating and more confident in like what I was channeling to people. So this is even something that I take like when I'm doing readings or if I'm writing horoscopes and stuff like that. I got a question about what essential oils I use. So in the Speak With Confidence, it is peppermint, clary sage, lavender, and rosemary is what is in that one. There's also in Awake and Dream, oh, for the carrier oils, it is water and vodka. That's all that's in it. Um, it's not for your skin. It's truly just to spray in your environment, not to spray on your skin or near your eyes. And it says that on the label. Um, I also put it together in a wake and dream essence blend. This one has a stone essence. It's got lipidolite stone in it as well as mugwort and um, arugula flower essence. I also sell arugula flower essence just by itself. And... Um, the lipidolite stone essence, it was created using the indirect method because you're not actually supposed to put lipidolite in water in case you didn't know. So this is another one that I use, um, for my dream and meditation practice. And that is why I made it. I made it to take before I go to bed or to take before I meditate. And that one is also available. And... 
my battery is gonna die soon, so I'm gonna try to wrap this up pretty quick. I have two other blends that I made. So there's a New Beginnings blend, and this one is to support us through New Beginnings because New Beginnings can be all of the things. They can be exciting, they can be terrifying, they can be overwhelming, especially if you're a highly sensitive person. So this blend was put together to support us through new beginnings, our new things in life. And this one is also available in a spritzer bottle. It's a citrusy kind of scent. And my awakened dream is like frankincense, lavender, geranium, rose. Um, those are kind of the top notes in that one. And my last blend that I have is the Grief Mover Blend. This one is a really special one to me personally because I made it when I was going through a really hard time in my life and I had a lot of unexpected changes that were really, really hard for me. And this was actually when my relationship to flower essences, I would say, really, really blossomed um, because Star of Bethlehem was one of the flower essences that I used at that time and I found it so, so, so supportive. Um, and it, I'd been using flower essences kind of off and on for a couple of years up to that point. But when I started working with Star of Bethlehem, it truly it changed me. Um, and it, this also has linden in it, which was another herb that I was working with a lot at that time. Um, bachelor's buttons to let go of drug, grudges and... Um, a couple other flower essences that were just really supportive to me when I was going through some big, big changes, including the loss of my grandma, a job that I really loved and had to let go of. Um, so I put that one together just to really support you through the tough stuff in life. That one I don't have in a spritzer bottle because I really feel strongly that it works best as an internal preparation. If I was going to use it externally, I would apply it to the heart space just right here. Um, and you can do that as needed. I would say about four times a day, three to four times a day is a great amount to work with a single flower essence. Um, some of my essences I take, you know, once a day or just when I feel like I need it. Other ones I'm working really deeply with and taking, you know, four times a day every single day until I get to the end of the bottle. So that is all that I have to say. And... I hope that that helps you to know a little bit more about flower essences, how you can use them, why this is important to me, why I started this apothecary. Like I said, my apothecary is live now, so you can go to the link in my profile and you can also go to ashgravity.com slash apothecary and you can buy these products for yourself, for your friends, your family. They make great stocking stuffers, um, all of that kind of stuff. But I will also be sending out a special discount code just to my email subscribers tomorrow morning. So if you're not on my email list, you'll definitely want to subscribe to that at the link in my profile. And then I have pretty like small quantities of all of these things. Um, so you'll want to make you know your purchases fairly quickly if you can. Um, but I will be restocking throughout the holiday season as well. Um, I also do custom flower essence formulations. So you can book an appointment with me, we look at your natal chart, and then I come up with a custom blend for you based on what I see in your chart. Um, so that's another offering that I have out there if you're interested in working with flower essences on a deeper level. I'm going to be having way more ways to work with flowers and the stars and the planets and all of that kind of stuff in the next four months and well into 2021 really excited about it. Super grateful to all of you who tuned in tonight and I hope you have a beautiful evening and get some much needed rest and much needed sleep and yeah thanks so much for being here.